over the past year or so, we've had more tomatoes than we can eat. Purple ones like this, and romas, and little red ones, yellow ones, and orange ones, and they've all come from rotten tomatoes. So today I'm going to show you how you can take rotten tomatoes and turn them into more tomatoes than you can eat. You want to start when you got these tomatoes that are cracked or even a little bit moldy, don't throw them out. What you do is you get uh, a pot full of soil. In this case, I just use pure compost from a yard. So this is all from yard waste. Uh, after about a month or so, it breaks down. Take your tomato, you just squeeze the seeds like that. And cover them up a little bit. So you don't have to do much more than that. And that's it. You just water that daily. In about a month or so, you start seeing little tomato plants like this, or like that. Just keep watering them. Now you might have slugs and other things eat away some of these, and some of these might die, so you end up with really just having a, a two or three grow up to be a little bit bigger. And when they get to this size, then you just stick them in the ground. And a couple months later, then you start getting uh, lots of cherry tomatoes. If you grow it next to a a fence, then it can grab hold of the fence, and all you need is about seven to ten of these plants, and you'll have more tomatoes than you can eat. And these eggshells are good tips. I got, we have a lot of slugs here, so just throw your eggshells in, and crush them, and spread them around, and they both add nutrients to the soil, and they prevent slugs from going up and eating your tomato plants. That's it. As another tip, you can stick other rotten things in the ground as well. These were garlic. I stuck the garlic in a pot full of uh, compost, and you can see they grow pretty well. There's another one here. So whenever we have garlic that starts to grow in the fridge, I just put them in a pot, and now we have more garlic than we need. Done that also to ginger and potatoes and eggplant and peppers and lots of other things. So instead of letting it go to waste, uh, try and plant something that's uh, a little rotten in the fridge.